welcome to a tutorial for the mechanical reasoning portion of the aptitude success exam. The mechanical reason test assesses your ability to recognize mechanical tools and devices and your comprehension of them. With today's tutorial, we will cover the uses of pulleys and how they work, as well as identifying different types of pliers and their uses. The first question here will be concerning pulleys. In case you're unfamiliar with what that is and how they function, a basic pulley comprises of a wheel on a fixed axle. It acts to change the direction of a force applied to the rope and is chiefly used to raise heavy weights. With the addition of extra pulleys, it makes lifting these heavy weights much easier. Uh, for example, with the first diagram here, this is a single pulley system with a load of 90 pounds, which we know because it is given up top here. Um, a single pulley system with a load of 90 pounds will require an effort of at least 90 pounds of force in order to lift the object. So with single pulley system, the same amount of force is required to lift the weight of the object. So 90 pound object, force required 90 pounds. Um, in a double pulley, which is demonstrated right here, the effort in which the rope is pulled is half the weight of the load. A trade-off does occur though, although the effort required is only halved, the distance the rope must be pulled is doubled. So um, the force required is only one half the weight, but the distance required to pull it is twice the amount. Um, and the same continues with our third example. This is a three pulley system. The amount of force necessary to lift the object will only be one third of the weight of the object. Um, so with that, we should be able to answer the question, uh, what amount of force is required to lift this 90 pound block? And we will be using the middle example uh, to get our answer. Uh, as I said before, this is a double pulley system. So the effort required will only be one half of the weight of the object. Since we know the weight of the object at 90 pounds, we just need to divide that by two to get one half, which is 45 pounds. And that is our answer. Awesome, moving on to the next question. This one asking us to identify the plier shown. We have five different types, uh, channel lock, needle nose, tongue and groove, split joint, and long nose, um, which are all real names for pliers. Um, to help us out though, to automatic, since we have five choices, um, only a 20% chance if we guess. Um, you need to be able to recognize that channel lock and tongue and groove are actually the same plier. Um, channel lock is just a brand name for the tongue and groove and it was adopted later. So many people know the tongue and groove and the channel lock are the same thing. Um, I'll show you a picture just so you can see what that is. Um, and as we can see, it is not the same as the picture shown. Um, so we can cross these two out since one, we know since there's both the same and there can only be one correct answer, we can logically just take those out. And two, um, we can see a picture and know that that is not, in fact, what is shown here. Um, next, we have the needle nose. And it is used by various tradesmen, such as electricians, to bend, reposition, and cut wires. Uh, as we can also... You know, as, as its namesake, it has a very slim head. Um, and as we can see, it is just not what is shown. So we can also cross that out as an incorrect answer. And then we have the long nose, which, taking this back, we can see is actually very similar to the needle nose. And the only real difference between the needle nose and the long nose uh, pliers are that the long nose um, traditionally have tapered jaws to um, hold and grip things, whereas this is mainly for cutting and bending. So we have all those crossed out. Excuse me, I crossed out slip joint. I shouldn't have. Should have been long nose. And so we can see that slip joint is the only option left, so we know that, that is the correct answer. Um, just to show you a picture to confirm that, this is a slip joint plier. 
can see they both look very similar. And that is our answer. And then finally, our third question um, is concerning pulleys as well. And the question asks, what amount of force is required to lift this 90 pound block? Well, as I said earlier, the amount um, of pulleys in the system um, is, will determine how much effort is required to uh, lift, the, the amount of force required to lift the object. So with three pulleys, it is only going to be one-third of the weight because it's divided by three. So since we know the weight is 90, to, uh, 90 pounds um, and only one-third of that, that will be 30 pounds. And that is the correct answer. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you have a better understanding of pulleys and their mechanics as well as being able to identify the different kinds of pliers and their uses. We'll see you next time.